Let's all stand and sing deep and wide. You all know deep and wide? Here we go, ready? Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain. Y'all know peace like a river? Do you? I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got love. What is it? Love like an ocean? I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean in my soul. I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean in my soul. I've got joy, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy. Like a fountain in my soul, I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I got peace, love, and joy like a river. Peace, love, and joy like a river. Ready? I've got peace, love, and joy like a river. I've got peace, love, and joy like a river. I've got peace, love, and joy like a river in my soul. I've got peace, love, and joy like a river. I've got peace, love, and joy like a river. I've got peace, love, and joy like a river in my soul. And can we sing Amazing Grace? It's hymn number three if you need it in your hymn book. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Hymn number three. Here we go. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound. That saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Twas grace, ready? Twas grace that taught. You know what, I'm glad and excited to have today, Miss Freeman Appreciation Day. Let's hear it for Miss Freeman. A couple weeks ago, we were sitting in a staff meeting with the preachers, and uh, we were just talking about Miss Freeman stepping down as principal, but she's still going to be back as a teacher. We're not losing her for good. 
She's just stepping down as a principal. You know, she's been here now for nine years. Is that right? And then as principal, uh, nine years as principal. And you know all those gray hairs in her hair? Some of you have put them there. <laughs> That's a tough, tough job. But you know what? That job has come with lots and lots of love and lots and lots of time and sacrifice because she loves young people and she loves you. And pastor said, you know what? Let's have Miss Freeman Appreciation Day. And not only that, let's have a special chapel. And you know, a couple weeks ago, pastor's mom passed away and went to heaven. And at the funeral, a couple of the young men came through the line. And one of them stopped and said, Pastor, can we pray with you? Can I pray for you? And the group of young men prayed with preacher, and that really touched his heart. And he said, why don't you talk to him and see if he would be our chapel speaker for that day. And I can't think of any greater honor, Miss uh, Ms. Freeman, than to have one of your students who the Lord's worked in his heart these last few years and has called him to preach. His mom and dad are here. I'm glad they can be here to hear him too. And some friends even came. Did you know that, Ben? Don't be nervous. Some friends even came that aren't part of the school to hear you preach tonight. So Ben has been preparing and he's going to come preach to, you know, the Bible says, render, therefore, to all their dues, tribute to whom tribute is due, custom to whom custom, fear to whom fear, honor to whom honor. And today we're going to give honor to Miss Freeman, and Ben's going to come and talk to you now a little bit about that. Ben, come on up and let's welcome Ben to preach this morning. <laughs> So first of all, I want to start off by saying that having Miss Freeman Appreciation Day, I feel like this fell on a perfect time because this week is Teacher Appreciation Week. So I figured that was, that was a perfect timing. So turn with me to your Bibles to Romans chapter 13. And, uh, and before we start, uh, let's, let's go ahead and pray so that, so that the Lord will bless this moment. Our Father in heaven, I thank you for this day that you've given us, Lord. I thank you that, you have, that you've given me this opportunity to speak, Lord. I pray that you'll just allow me to say what you want me to say, and that you will just bless this moment and remind us to why we're all here, to, to remember uh, the times that we've had with Miss Freeman and to thank her for all her hard work. In the Lord's name I pray, amen. So, if I could find it here. Uh, Romans chapter 13. Well, let's read the first two verses. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of God, the powers that be are ordained of God. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of God, and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. You see, there are four authorities in our life that we need to respect. Uh, and be thankful for. The God has put them in our positions and that we just need to remember and they are and they are just our leaders and we need to just remember them and be thankful for them. Uh, the, uh, the first one uh, we're going to talk about if you're taking notes you want to write this down. Uh, the f number one is parents. Um, let's see, can someone tell me, does anyone know the fifth commandment of the ten commandments? Janelle. That's right. Uh, the Bible says in Exodus 20.10, Obey your parents that, so that thou may live long. And I'll tell you, if the Lord, if it be in his will, I'd like to live long. But at the same time, I want the Lord's will to be done in me. But let me tell you, our parents, they, when we were, when we were childs, they, our children, <laughs> they, they fed us, they dressed us, they still do feed us, and they, they put up with us. Boy, I'm glad they put up with us. You can ask my sister. I'm a pain to deal with. Isn't that right? <laughs> Thank you, Colton. <laughs> but yes, um, our parents, they put up with us. And, um, and I'll, I'm going to take this opportunity right now. My parents are here. I'm going to say thank you for 16 years of putting up with me and taking care of me and allowing me to come to a Christian school. But you remember... Jesus also had parents. He had worldly parents and his father, God. And we, we know he was, without, he was perfect without sin. And I know, that, and I, I know because he was perfect 
that he honored his parents and were thankful for them every day. Even his, even his worldly father, his worldly mother, he was thankful for them because he was perfect. And his, world, and his godly father, God, he, he, he's his one true father. Of course he was, of course he was thankful for him. Uh, number two, um, our teachers, principals, and for some of us who work, our managers. Our teachers, they come together and they, they set up, and I know it's going to sound weird, but they give us our tests and quiz to, to allow us to learn. And we should be thankful that we do uh, that they do give give these to us so that we can excel in our lives and go and move on to our future careers. Our principles, they put everything together and they allow just everything to run smoothly. And same with managers for us who work. They, they're just, and I have written down here, they make, they make our day fun. I'll tell you, I've had fun this year. I've had fun every year because my teachers, my principals, They've made it. They've made it just perfect. A, an amazing day. Number three uh, is our pastors. Our pastors. They are. They teach us God's word. Uh, turn with me to Hebrews chapter thirteen, uh, verse number seventeen. The Bible says, "Obey them that have the rule over you, and submit yourselves, for they watch for they watch for your souls." as they must be given account that they may do it with joy and not with grief, for that is, for that is unprofitable for you. Our pastors, they, they are, I, like to th I, like, I especially like to think of pastors as inspired men uh, by God who want to teach you the, the Bible and just Christianity in general. You know, with this book, you can, by this book alone, you can read through it and get everything that, that you'll need for your life. Pastors are there just to teach you. But of course, they are important people. We, can, we should never take our pastors for granted, whether it's Pastor Tebow, Pastor Courier, Pastor Bedwell. We need, we need to remember them. They are, they are very important people. And they are, like I said, in my opinion, they're inspired by God to teach us his word so that we can just come forward and know, the, the, know Christianity. Finally, the, the best for last I saved, the most important authority that we need to respect and remember always is God the Father. I mean, what hasn't he done? What hasn't he done for us? He's given us a world to live in, a school to go to, families to be with, and that take care of us. He answers our prayers. I'll, I tell you, my father has been looking for a job for 14 months now, right? It's been a long process. We, he, we are still looking for a job for him, but God answers prayers. We've prayed on it. We've prayed on it. It's been, it's, like I said, it's been long, but 14 months later, without prayer, we wouldn't be even close. Prayer is important in our lives. God, God answers our prayers, whether, it, whether he says yes or no, or he tells us to wait. He's, he always answers your prayers. I, I can guarantee that. He will always answer them. He also sent his son to die for us. His perfect son took our sin so that we didn't have to pay the price of death. And most importantly, his son is coming back for us. He, one day he's going to come back and take us into heaven. Into, an, into a forever eternity. I'll tell you, there's, there's nothing that God cannot do. One, it is, God is everything we need in our lives. We, we have to remember that we need to be thankful for them, for God, for our teachers, our parents, our pastors. You've got to remember them. They'll be with us from, they'll be with us from day to day, and we just—they're all just a part. They're part of our life. We need to be thankful for them. I—I encourage you guys. I can't say young people. There are some people older than me here. <laughs> but I encourage you. Whether, whether it be that, 
uh, something didn't go right and you, you didn't think that something was right, I'd encourage you to think on it. And after either a punishment was dealt out or things worked out, you should thank, just thank God that everything worked out fine. And, you, and just remember, you got to remember, with prayer and thankfulness, we can, things can work in our human lives. I'd, I'd encourage, to, uh, encourage you guys, when was the last time that you had actually thanked your teacher for giving you a quiz so that you could remember that, so that you could be thankful that they're helping you grow into your life? It's, it's kind of weird. You never thought you'd ask, you never thought you'd tell your, your teachers, thank you for giving me a quiz, but it's true. They're just helping us to move, into our, to move up in our lives. When have, when have you told your pastor, thank you for taking his time to teach us the word of God so that we can move on, so that we can be able to apply it in our daily lives? And most importantly, when was the last time you thanked God for the things that he's done in the past, for allowing his son to be born and die for us, the, stuff that he, the things that he's doing for us now, for instance, letting me come and speak to you guys. I'm thankful. I've been excited for this moment when I first found out. I'm thankful that God gave me this opportunity. And most importantly, we should also be thankful for the things that he hasn't done for us. We don't know what they are yet, but we know that he will come and he'll answer our prayers. One way or another, he will answer them. Let's pray. My Father in heaven, I thank you for this day. It's truly been an honor that I've been able to speak to these people, a fine group of a school that we are. Thank, I, I'm thankful, Lord, that you gave me this opportunity and thankful that you allowed Pastor Tebow and Pastor Courier to allow me to speak as well, Lord. It's an amazing talent that you give us for all of us, not just me, that we could all, we could all speak for you, Lord. The importance of you is the most important in our life. I pray that you'll guide us through the rest of our day, keep us safe, and watch over us. In the Lord's name I pray, amen. Thank you, Mr. Ben. You can show him your appreciation. That's all right. That was good. I like what he said. The most important person for us to be thankful for is God. And we show God how thankful we are and how much we love him by how we live our lives and honor him. And by the way, if you don't have that right relationship with God, you'll not have it with your teachers and pastors and parents. Make sure your relationship and your heart is right with God so that it can be right. And you'll have that attitude of thankfulness. When he said, when's the last time you thanked your teacher for a quiz? I don't know if I ever thanked my teacher for a quiz. And shame on me, huh? Because it did. It helped me to learn. When's the last time you thanked your teacher for demerits? Uh-oh. Did you know they give those to you because they love you? The Bible says, whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. So the next time, shock your teacher. When you get demerits, say, thank you very much. They'll just give you some more because they, they appreciate the thankfulness, right? Miss Freeman, can we ask you to come up here at this time? Not only did we want to have a special day, but we would like to show you. Love is not just saying it, love is showing. And There's some presentations we would like to present to you to this morning. And first of all, we'll have Pastor Tebow come, not only as your pastor and boss, but I'm sure he has some words and a something he'd like to, to present to you. By the way, thank you, Ben. I actually do not remember ever thanking any of my teachers or my principal for giving me swats. <laughs> yes, I was a boy. I did get a few. Miss Freeman, you have been an incredible blessing. You've been a part of my staff uh, 
for many, many years, and you were a godsend to our school. You were the academic strength that we needed. You had all of the knowledge and the insight, not only for teaching, but for teaching teachers. She's been an amazing teacher of teachers. And we thank God for her, and I am so, so, so glad she is not going anywhere, that she's going to be teaching right here uh, at Illinois Central Christian School next year. We are sorry for being such a pain to you and testing your wits, your patience, and sometimes your emotions. We would rather make you laugh. A few times we've made you cry. But there's no doubt in our minds that you love us, that you love your teachers. Amazingly, I think she even loves her pastor. And she's uh, been sacrificial. She's not been a wife and a mom. So she has poured her entire being into you. Not only here, but at home, on the weekends. She has, you have been her life and her Christian service. I'm glad you love the Lord so much. And I don't know what the classes have planned for you. That sign outside uh, we get to keep the board, but you get to keep the poster. And I suggested to your dad that maybe it would look good stapled on the wall of your garage so that when you come into the house, you see it all the time. Um, and so next year, we're glad you're still with us. On behalf of the pastoral staff, we wanted to give you uh, this. And I think that the uh, classes have also prepared some things and then we have we have something at the end don't we all right all right listen if you haven't made it by miss freeman's office yet you need to walk by and you need to see all the hard work that the kindergarten class put in and they decorated miss freeman's door for her and made some really nice things so if you all would like to come up and tell miss freeman thank you kindergarten and you know, it'd be okay if you want to even give her a hug. That'd be all right this morning. Come on up and tell Miss Freeman thank you. And thank you for making all of those pictures for Miss Freeman's door. Senior high's next. No. <laughs> Miss Robinson, I believe if you'll come. And your class has something also, and we'll let you talk about that.
Miss Freeman, they all colored you a picture and wrote you a note. And we, the common theme amongst all of the cards was, thank you for teaching us in chapel. They loved Pilgrim's Progress. And we picked a couple that are going to read you their little note for you. And, um, but they loved the Pilgrim's Progress, and they loved the smiles. It's amazing what a smile means to the little guys and so to all of them. So if you were one that was going to read your note that we picked, come on up. And then they pulled their money together, and they got you. Esther has, we know you like Cracker Barrel, so they got you $75 a Cracker Barrel with tip money. So, <laughs> so <laughs> all right. But we have a couple... There's four of them that we're going to volunteer to read their note to you. Thank you, Ms. Freeman, for being our principal. You have so much patience. You are the nicest, most best principal ever. I'm happy that you're not leaving. You'll always be my favorite principal. Thank you for being our principal. I liked how you always prayed with us before we went back to the classroom. Thank you for being the kindest and sweetest principal I have ever had. I hope you will have fun being a teacher. I appreciate all the hard work you did as principal, as a coach of volleyball, and as a teacher. You're the best. Miss Freeman. Thank you for being such a wonderful principal all these years. I'm sorry for being such a mischievous little brat in preschool. <laughs> I know how hard it is to have patience. I have three little sisters who kind of bug me sometimes, if you know what I mean. I've learned a lot these four school years, and I'm glad that you, that you were my principal. Thank you. Thank you for being our principal all of these years. I hope you have fun being a teacher. You are really fun. Thank you for letting us go on a field trip. They're fun. Thank you for the art fair. Thank you, Ms. Freeman. All right, fifth and sixth grade, come on up. All right, who would like to be the spokesperson? Anybody want to tell you tell us what you're presenting? Michael, want to do it? Thank you so much for all you've done, and this is our appreciation for you. It's an apple saying all the adjectives that we think you are. Uh, you are all very kind. <laughs> and then we got you an apple so you can eat. Or apple. Well, you have to. Thank you, fifth and sixth grade. All right, seventh and eighth grade, right? Together, come on up, seventh and eighth grade. Wow, that's a big class. Come on up, gather over this way. Good thing there's no water. Hey, guys, come on over. All right, Ms. Freeman, we do want to say thank you. As far as the class that probably has caused you the most joy this year and has been the bright spot of your day every day, we want to say thank you, and, and I also want to say thank you uh, personally for me uh, giving me the chance and opportunity to teach. Uh, 
you know, I, 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 I saw, I've seen your heart that, you know, you're, you're trying to, you know, to, to love these students and love, love these kids. Even, even the act of you wanting to step down, I believe in your heart, you're trying to do what you think is, is best for these kids. And it's an act of love. And it is, it's just undeniable all the, the heart and your life that you've put into these kids. And we want to say thank you. We've got a gift card here for you. And these are letters. I collected them up. I didn't realize they were supposed to give them all to you individually. But, but, uh, but we want to say thank you. So our, our kids are going to come, and they're going to shake your hand and say thank you. But we, we really appreciate all the love that you've invested in, in us, me as a teacher, and uh, th these are students. But we, we thank you very much. All right, thank you, Junior High. All right, I understand 10th and 11th grade. Which one? Quentin, you thanked her for demerits? All right, who would like some more today to be thankful? All right, there's a few. All right, 10th and 11th grade, come on up. All right, and Ben's a spokesman this morning. Well, Ms. Freeman, we want to thank you for all of your time that you have given for us. Um, we, we're just so thankful for you and everything that you've given to us that we wanted to give you a, a, a letter with all of our names and a note written on it with a Cracker Barrel gift card. <laughs> All right, now we have the senior class of 2018 has a presentation. Ms. Freeman, 15 years teaching is a very long time to teach. And 15 years is a very long time to teach. That's almost as long as I have been alive. And for, to honor that, we've given, you, we've given you roses, 15, each one for a year you've been teaching at our school and as principal. And I don't, I don't speak for the rest of my class in this, but I don't have any demerits to be thankful for, so I thank you for that. <laughs> but thank you, Ms. Freeman. Thank you for uh, all your years of teaching us and spending extra time helping us with individual subjects, especially with our senior year, and encouraging us and disciplining us and steering us in the right direction. You've been our, our pilot on our ship through high school.
All right, ninth grade, come on up. Come on up, ninth grade. That's your homeroom. That's your homeroom. So I'm sure you organized them getting something, didn't you? <laughs> she had no idea. Ninth graders, come on up. Quickly. All right, Miss Freeman. No appreciation day is no good without cupcakes. And so from the ninth grade class, thank you, Miss Freeman. And at lunch today, at your lunch hour, we will have chocolate and vanilla cupcakes available. And thank you from the ninth grade class. Why don't you come and tell Miss Freeman thank you. One last time, let's hear it for the world's greatest principal, Miss Freeman. Thank you. Did you did you notice there's two other people in the back back there? That's my mom and my dad. And they have listened to me over the last for you all 15 years. Uh, they've listened to me and my teaching talk for over 30 years, and uh, they are a blessing to me, and uh, they pray for me, and I'm thankful for them, and uh, you need to be thankful for what you have, too. You know, when you, when you get older, there's, there's no Bible verse that says, when you are of this age... You don't have to listen to your mom and dad anymore. You don't have to honor them anymore. But you know what? They have been what I needed. The Lord has given them to me. And I'm so thankful for them. Because what they do for me, in turn, helps and comes out to you. And how they have trained me is what I look to for you all. And... Uh, you are, I refer to all of you as my kids. Um, when I talk to people, you're my kids. I love you. I love everybody, everyone in here. And I thank you so much for your expressions of appreciation. And I thank you for that. And I know sometimes we have our times where we don't look very appreciative of each other. But in, in the end, I think we all realize who, who we all are. And we're all on the same pathway working our way day by day in the Lord's will. And uh, I just pray that you will keep traveling that Lord's will. You seniors that are going out of here, don't get off the path. Stay on the path. And those of you that are here, stay on the path. Kindergarten all the way up. Be like pilgrim, right? Stay on the pathway and keep it on going no matter what mountains come along, no matter what burdens come along. Thank you so much for all that you've done for me. And uh, hope we have a good, oh, what do we have? About 10 days left total? Can you make it? All right. Thank you so much. All right. Good job. We'll take these to the lunchroom. And when you have lunch, you can help yourself to a delicious, yummy, who likes cupcakes? All right. Try not to make a mess, all right? Or the deacons won't like you. <laughs> All right, uh, younger grades, you can be dismissed. Why don't we dismiss you out that direction? And why don't we dismiss the older classes this direction? Make sure to take everything with you. and Have a great day. <laughs>